Notice they say that this key does not work. However, this video shows that it does. All right, so those of you who have a key like this, and this goes to my 2014 F-250, um, coming from a couple newer vehicles before this, you know, I had a 2016 F-150, and it had the all-in-one key. Um, I had the 2014 Ford Fusion um, Energy, and it had the all-in-one key. Um, so... You know, going back to this truck, I felt like I was, you know, back in olden days with an actual key. And it has the built-in fob, so that's kind of futuristic. Um, one of the things that I have not uh, made a video on yet, which is Drone Mobile. And I had that installed on my truck, and I'll, I'll do a future video on that. But I wanted to kind of go over something that I bought uh, to hopefully make this feel not so dull and bland keep in mind this one has lock unlock remote start and alarm let's get that guy out of the way and get inside this handy dandy amazon box and see what we got so that is a flip key that if you have seen some of the newer flip keys, it has a much thinner um, key that comes with it. This is actually, you know, more sized to one of these. Let's, let's go backwards here. You can kind of see the size difference. But this one has lock, unlock, alarm, and trunk. Obviously, I don't have a trunk. Uh, one of the cool features of my 16 F-150 that I had was it had a tailgate button. I could hit it and it would pop the tailgate. That was pretty cool. Um, but that was a stupid expensive truck and I refused to buy something brand new again. So as far as this key and the quality, you know, this, this doesn't feel like some cheap plastic crap. This actually feels real. Um, so... I've seen a lot of people that are able to get these working with Mustangs. Um, I've yet to see anything on a F-250. So we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to get it cut. I'm going to play around with four scan and see if I can get it programmed. Um, so um, hitting the buttons, it, it is lighting up. So it's already got the battery and everything in there. So um, I will continue this video as I've got more steps on it. Um, but for a $24.99 upgrade, seems pretty real. Um, they do have other ones on there where instead of the chrome, it's red, which with this being a red truck, I kind of thought about that, but I just didn't really want to mess with any of that. I felt like if it was red, it was probably some plastic decal that was going to fall off. So anyway, like I said, I'll, I'll get this key cut and I'll play around with four scan and see if I can get it configured. And then see if we can go from this to this. And then, you know, one of the caveats here, again, is I'm going from remote start to no remote start. But I don't even use this. The key pretty much well stays in the ignition um, whenever I pull it in the garage. Outside of that, um, I'm using Drone Mobile. Those of you who don't know anything about that, like I said, I'll make another video on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, upgrade that I had done, but I can remote start it, uh, remote stop it, keyless entry, uh, I can see the interior temperature, all kinds of neat features, but I'm not going to get into that more in this video. Um, I'll make it its own video, so um, updates to come. All right, so we're going to go ahead and configure the flip key. Um, just to show you, I'll hit lock and unlock. You can see the lights flash on the key, but nothing actually happening with the truck. So to configure the key, we are going to take the factory key or any key that is set up in PATS and we are going to go ahead and put it in the ignition so it's ready for the next step. We're gonna open the door, you hit unlock eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Now you heard the lock cycle. Now you've got to configure the buttons. Okay. So now I'll take out my ignition key, the factory one that works, right? Test it. Everything works. Come back to this key. Now watch my dash and watch my garage door. This is the new flip key. There's lock. And there's unlock. So now just to get the flip key aspect of it cut. And this guy will be ready to go. All right, so I just got done at a locksmith. It cost 10 whole dollars to get that key cut. Um, as you saw in the previous clip, um, I was able to program the buttons and everything. So the very last step will be programming Pats, um, which is Ford Security Program, which I'm going to do with Forescan, and then that will be the last step. So I've already tested this in the tailgate, the door, and the ignition. Obviously, again, the ignition doesn't turn. So we will uh, drive home with this guy, and then I will show this working after I do some Forescan work. So... All right, so here we go with four scan. We're gonna put in the new key. All right, new key is in. Press OK. Twelve minutes. All right, we'll pause the video. All right, so after about ten minutes, this came up. Pet's key program successfully. Please cycle the ignition off and on off on spare keys programmed enabled so I'll take this out show you this is the key let's make sure I move all my notifications off lock worked unlock worked okay again this is the flip key Truck started. Thanks for watching.